This is part two of 1.09, significant figures. The fact that we write a measurement with only one estimated value is basically because of significant figures. So let's think about money. What if something cost $111.11? Which one or ones mean that you might have enough money? So there's a difference between all of these, and there's a difference if I put a decimal after it. If I put a decimal after 100, that means I have exactly $100, and I do not have enough money. But this is like saying, oh, I got about $100. Well, if you're rounding, what numbers would all round to give you 100? I could have anywhere between 50 and $149, and those would both round to say, oh, I have about $100. So I might have enough money if I had about $100. Okay, what about if I had $110? Well, now I'm not rounding to 100. Now I'm not asking to the nearest 100. Now I'm asking to the nearest 10. So might I have enough for $111.11? Yeah, I might. Because if I have 105 all the way to $114, that would round to say, yeah, I have about $110. Okay, what about if I have $111? I come in and I say, yeah, I have about $111. Might I have enough? Yeah, because technically from rounding, I could have $110.50 all the way up to $111.49. So you can see each time I'm getting more and more accurate. Here I was rounding to hundredths. Here I was rounding to tenths. Here I was wondering, rounding to the ones place. What about if I have exactly $111? Do I have enough money? No, because I have $111. That's it. Okay. So I can't say, oh, look, I had that electrical 11 cents. No, because I have exactly. So that's where significant figures come in. And that's where the rules make a difference, too, when the zeros. So the rules say non-zero digits are always significant. They always count. So the ones matter. Okay? Any, not, any zeros between two significant digits are significant. So this one's at the end. This one is just to keep that decimal point there. So it doesn't count. We didn't round to ones. We only rounded to tens. A final zero or trailing zeros in the decimal portion only are significant. Now down here, I have some zeros, but that's telling me I have exactly no pennies. Okay, I have exactly no pennies. For this one, well, I might have a few singles. If I put a dot after it, then I would know I had exactly 110. Or if I did that, I have exactly 110 because I don't need these zeros except to tell you that I have exactly that much money. All right, so that's pretty much it for significant figures. For the quiz on this one, definitely make sure you do the worksheet because I make the quiz based on the worksheet, and that might help you too. If you do the worksheet, you're like, ooh, I should have added some more notes about this. That will help you out as well. All right, have a good day.